Two investigating officers were fatally wounded that day. This is the only known image of Thomas Hewitt, the man they call Leatherface. The case today still remains open. What's up guys, it's AJ's Day Off here with another animatronic. Today we are building the Texas Chainsaw Massacre. Uh, we found this at Lowe's and um, we thought it was a little bit better than the one at Spirit and it is a little bit cheaper. So if you're looking for a better and cheaper option, Lowe's is amazing. It's maybe like three feet. The animatronic itself is 6.5 feet tall. You know, when you have a heavy skeleton and werewolf, it's everything's heavy. I'm very careful with this. I'm careful with this because I don't want to um, stab anything in there, even though the animatronic himself has a chainsaw. So when you open up, here it is. So this says, oh, look, how many of you guys are removing the foam? Because this is the first thing you see when you open it. Do not remove foam from metal components of product. This is part of the internal structure of your life-size character. And it also tells you where you can contact if you have trouble assembling. Um, I think this should be easy though. So obviously here we have the clothes, the shirt, the apron, the arms. So this is the foam it's talking about. Um, I think the zip ties are also supposed to stay on there because it says not to remove foam. The arms themselves are hollow. Maybe that's why it's so light. And here you can see it has an opening for where to hold it. So let's get to the actual mechanism here. I'm pretty sure these are for the legs. Got two legs. Gotta take this out first. The shoes. Oh, it comes with a try me button. That's so cool. The hair. Here is the chainsaw. Very light plastic. Very light plastic, but it looks nice. Oh, it looks like I could probably even hold it myself. Let me see. So for reference, Elena is almost 42 um, inches, and that is the size of almost the whole chainsaw. Hey, I, will, I can hold it and I can drop it. Hi guys, today is dinner. This one, I guess, is... I'm just guessing about the white zip. For sure the white zip ties, obviously that black one also had to go. And so let's do this. This is probably the heaviest part of the whole chainsaw part. It's really heavy, so be careful. Get all of this out. All right, so let's get started with this. This is the main base, so this is where we're gonna start. And it's just if you want to switch the chainsaw around, it has to put this through there. Um, so like I said, reference, I'm five foot two, I believe, five foot one, five foot two, one somewhere on there. And that's how tall he is. So let's try him out. He has three, two options. It's the try me option and it is the sensor. So let's see how the sensor is. This is the sensor. Let me see. Might take a little bit of time. Let me see if I even put it on sensor to be honest. Was it sensor?
actually like it. It's very lightweight. We did struggle with um, figuring out the arms and the chainsaw. As you guys saw, he was kind of leaning like a cholo, but we figured it out and here he is. So thank you for watching AJ's Day Off. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe. And like always, stay spooky.